There are several ways to design and model sloped surfaces in Revit. Both topographies and slabs can be used in the model, depending on the required level of detail. To design a slope using contour lines in Revit, we can use model lines. Model lines are flat and they usually have no elevation, so we will add an elevation in the 2D view. The Set Elevation tool allows us to place these lines in a correct height. By setting the start elevation and increment value for each subsequent line, we can raise all the lines in our project in just a few clicks. Now that all the lines are in place, you can create the designed topography. To do this, select the necessary model lines, go to the Environment tab and click on Create Surface. The topography has been created and you can split it according to the design. For a more detailed model, use the slab element containing all the required material layers. We already sketched the floor with material layers for this road and hid it. Let's unhide it in the model. The best way to assign slopes to this floor will still be by using an auxiliary topo surface. This allows better control of elevation accuracy on Revit slabs. Make sure that this topo surface is at least a bit larger than the projected slab and completely covers it. You can now use the Shape by Topography command to apply your design slopes to the slab. Once the slab is in place, the topography is no longer needed. We recommend using a view filter to hide the auxiliary surface, so you can always refer to it again for future changes in the design. The model lines used to create the topography are best hidden by category. Now, you can easily assign dynamic contour lines to the slab using the floor contour line tool and height labels using check elevation tool. That was the entire workflow moving from 2D lines to complicated sloped surfaces in Revit in just a few clicks. Thank you for watching this video.